Good morning, Stone Boy. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm, I'm fine, and you guys? Uh, we're very well, thank you, thank you. And nice. uh, thanks for being here with us on Breakfast Daily. Uh, thank you for having me also. Yeah, so um, COVID-19 <clears throat> and all that's going on, how are you feeling, how is it treating you, and so on? Yeah, the world at large is, um, is fighting this pandemic, and then we're, I believe that we're going to go through it as well, mm. you know? Mm. And this this um, this is a um, a time for us all to also you know like I say get closer to God and also um, re re um, revisit how we see life literally because yeah. you know it, 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 everything just got disrupted you yeah. know, all of a sudden worldwide and it's not just one person we can't we can't we can't see no sporting event we can't see no musical event like everything is shutting down all you can all you can hear is the news 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 and mm. all you have is, is your internet and you know yeah yeah so well, well yeah, I'm on. what was quarantine like now nah, it's cool because um literally for me my life is not too um you know too out there as a person thing aside from my musical background you know so i'm always either on tour in the studio at home or I'm doing an interview here and there, or I'm doing some regular checks or mm. other stuff. So I've always been like an indoor kind of person. So this is just like a continuity or a longer duration to stay in, indoors. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, let's talk about Anoga Junction. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Anoga Junction in Kumasi. I also know Anoga exactly. Junction uh, in, in, in Anoga. Um, now, yes. um, <laughs> why did you come up? What, what, what was the thinking behind the name for this album? Thank you very much. Um, it's deeper than just the the, the the name, but actually, we can I can we can all describe it this way. Angloga Junction is two words put okay. together. Angloga itself is, is a Ghanaian word, mm -hmm. you know, and therefore an African word. You know, and it signifies where I come from, my ethnicity. Okay. And it thinks it signifies it's an African word as well. It also signifies where I come from as an African, mm. you know. And the junction as an English word also is, of, I mean, is a, signifies every other influence and experience that I have gained over the period of time mm. from the Western world as well and the African part of it to form this album or to create. So it's just the influences that and the experiences that I have gained from home and abroad, literally Africa and the rest of the world yeah. to put together this musical album. Lovely. Okay, so that's why I named it Okay, so it's a few it's six, a fusion you know? of it's a fusion of your experiences, your cosmopolitan experiences basically, right? Yes, and then it's also um, I, I, you know, it also points to the identity, you know, where we're from. And because mm. it needs time to realize that it's really important to have to leave a mark of where we're from. Okay. You know, owing okay. to the fact that, you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. Mm, mm. So, uh, looking at the album, um, you have so many songs on it. How many songs do you have in total? Uh, um, this is actually my shortest list, you know, wow. when it comes to me releasing albums. This is 15 track album. And this is your shortest? You know. Which had Bawa Saba uh, and 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 there and all those other big songs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what was the message that you were trying to push or convey with the entirety of the album? What were you trying? What were you seeking to do? Thank you. Um, they say do not judge a book by a cover, but mm. then with the title of the album alone, you can understand where I'm driving at. You know, I'm no longer junction to the world. So we realize that we're selling everything. Ghana, we're selling everything Africa, we're selling everything morals, you know? Mm. We're just making sure that we continue to represent for Ghana and, and our culture. When you pick some of the songs, when you pick the song, especially the first track, it's all 80% sung in Eve, and it has some high moral values in there that I'm trying to send across. Because as we entertain ourselves, I believe that uh, we indirectly or, uncon or, or, or unconsciously sometimes use the entertainment that we do have to promote things that, you know, probably in the long run do not help clean up our images as, as, as people. Mm. So this is what I seek to do with this album as well. You know? 
Now, um, looking at the features on the no, album, more across I all age brackets. Okay, all right. Um, looking at the features on the album, uh, why are there not many Ghanaian people featured on the album? We only have Kojo entry. How come? Thank you very much. Um, my previous albums have had, um, especially the last one I, I released, the episodes of Mama in 2017, have had like more than. Um, more than one Ghanaian artist from the mm. top, top most like Sarkodie, Efia, Kofi Kenata, mm. Ya Pono, um, Amare, yeah. Edem. You know, it. I featured like you now, but for this project, I featured a lot of Ghanaians and a lot of Jamaicans as well. But for this, we, were, we carefully selected to aim at touching base, you know, and entering certain other markets. With yeah. it. So we, we carefully chose one each of an area, and if I say an area, I mean we have one South African top artist being there. Yeah. From Ghana, we have our own legend, Kojo Entry. Yeah. And from uh, from Nigeria, we have Zlatan, who, who you know, for the best uh, vibes. Yeah. And we have, um, um, in East Africa, we have Diamond Platinums. From America, we have the songstress, um, Kerry Hill Singh. Yeah. And in, from Europe, we have Shiv. From UK, we have Aleka Hali. And, and that's how we structured this album, you know. So you're really taking Ghana to the world? I mean, by, by, by all looks of it. And Jamaica, we have Jamil, yes. yes. Wow. Now, why... Say that again, please. I'm just, I'll, say, I'll say that it's, it looks like you're really taking Ghana to the world. Absolutely. It has to. You know, it's been to the world, you know. Mm. And we've been on that journey for, for some years. But, yeah. I, but I have one beef to pick with you. No problem. Why is, so long as we can chew. Why is, okay, we'll chew this one. Why is Sobolo not on the album? <laughs> you know, this album, actually, yeah, uh, um, I, can I tell you a little story about the track? It was recorded a year and more, a year and a half ago, you okay. know, only waiting for the right time to be released. And then now, um, um, uh, we're going to add that to the album, but we had to release it earlier as a single, you know. For the ah. difference in style and the shock that it give the people, so that actually is like a, a, a way paver. You know, it paved the way mm. for the album to come in because that's the last song I dropped before the album itself. But it, it, it's been, it, it's been, it's held it down well and proper. You know, when everybody heard me do so bolo and the way, it did. so it might not be on the album, but that's the only difference mm. but at least that is song to the world it belongs to me as well and it's a big song and thank you guys for supporting it you know yeah for well, fantastic i mean we always support um, stone boy um i think that for us you're one of our greatest exports to the world so um i i, I want to just find out uh, from you just finally before you leave us um the 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 season in which we mm -hmm. find ourselves uh, COVID-19, how does it affect your work? How is it affecting your psyche, looking at family and all of that? You know, what are some of the nuances of that? Thank you. Um, first and foremost, our, the, our work is really, um, we can't go physical right now with it, so we have to stay virtual. Like, you know, we I, I mean, on a regular, we wouldn't have, um, we wouldn't have thought about me doing this interview via Zoom. Yeah. I would have been in a studio you know, so we're just trying to limit, you know, if we can find different ways of making things happen, we yeah. use those instead of the traditional ways. So we're all finding other ways around how to serve our masses and get them to continue to enjoy our music. And secondly, this is like, this is a pandemic that has hit the world. Not even me personally, every day when I wake up, I have to sit back and be like, wow. Hmm. So we're in these times actually where there are so many things you can't do. You can't travel out. You can't do that. And I was on tour before the thing hit proper mm. in America. I had to call up and postpone everything. Yeah. Run back home to check the family. Like you come back home, you have to self quarantine. Self quarantine, yeah. and then you you know of everybody. So it's 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 it, it, when. Not in happy times, literally. The world is not there. Yeah, yeah. So much hunger going on. There have been hunger already, but because of the lockdown and stuff, which is which is also you know which is right. So many things are just going on about, mm. and 
we can only be strong you know i can only encourage myself and encourage other people to stay strong you know and 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 we're going to go through this as well but we would have learned our lessons because mm. this has taught us that uh africa is not really 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 prepared for any any, any anything like this mm. you know and as much as that hits america in the world we all now realize that there's a lot we have to put in place yeah. and there's a lot we have to do you know okay let me just ask uh, finally looking at creativity do you i do feel inspired during this period to create and to come up with new stuff yes absolutely um for me as a me as a as a, as a how i get inspired i get inspired by life like i say every time so this is another phase of this that would inspire me to do a lot you know what i mean it doesn't mean that we've lost loved ones or you know we are losing loved ones i mean but we've not lost love yeah okay you know we can't we can't we we, we can't really we can't get socially you know uh. or um, um active but we you know it's time for us to even want to try to show love the more check up on one another since we still have the internet you yeah. know except to wake up one day and then the whole internet is also shut <laughs> but now that's where we can actually uh, uh, go very go mobile so spread love so i get inspired by love still i see the whole thing i i, I check the whole happening and if i can create with that you know this is actually a, an inspirational moment for me to put down some of the mind uh my um mind tickling songs you know okay you know that yeah. will live beyond this moment you know just like the bob marley's have sung songs that have addressed several seasons in time mm. you know so a person like myself is also definitely inspired in these times as well because inspiration doesn't have to do with only happy times mm. it does with everything you know? finally finally how are you coping with family uh, family is great, man. And my wife is cool. My my brother, my sisters, my dad, my aunt, like everybody close to me. Yeah, is 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 is, is great, and we're happy. You know, there's no case of any COVID, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, I'm um, I'm really grateful for that, and we're keeping safe as well. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much, Stone Boy, for talking to us here on Breakfast Daily. We appreciate you. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. All right. And congratulations Thank on the you. album as well. Thank you. And before I leave, I just want to say, yeah, thank you very much. I just want to say thank you to all the fans who have been very, very supportive. We can go out there on the YouTube and subscribe. And on Thursday, we're going to come live with it. You know, so tune in, check out my socials. What time on Thursday can we expect? We're going to do the album listening and then on Friday worldwide. Uh, check me out on our uh, on uh, on uh, between four to six, you okay. know, on Joy Prime on DSTV and everywhere. And subscribe on my YouTube as well, and that's where you're gonna get it all at. And we're gonna have a nice and beautiful time with this album. Thank you for supporting and congratulations. I'm grateful. Bless up.